Greetings and salutations, fellow Homo sapiens. Um, Will here, with a little instance. Yeah, get Scarlet Monastery Library. Uh, it's the second in the Scarlet Monastery lineup. The first one obviously being Graveyard, which I did earlier, and this one being Library. Library, I always thought Library was quite short, but to be honest, this took us about, well, including running back for the quest and sorting something out at the end, it took us about 15 minutes. Which is, don't get me wrong, it's not long, but I thought this one was uh, ridiculously short. Anyway, I picked the quest up there. They get a nice mixy ring at the end. All is well. And the uh, Tauren Warrior charges in, doing his job. He's, he did a fantastic job for this run, I have to admit. Um, basically, these mobs put a debuff on the tank uh, that increases holy damage taken, which stacks up to five times. It's worth dispelling if you've got the mana for it, but I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much about it. Leave it on if if you are healing. What you do need to run out for ah what you do need to look out for is um, hammer of justice. Uh, that basically stuns the tank and you need to dispel that ASAP as soon as possible. Because as Johnny will tell you, being a tank who is stunned, ah minor inconvenience put it that way because basically when you're stunned you have no mitigation of damage you can't block parry dodge or anything like that so you just take all the damage you take it like a boss and well let's just say it'd be far better if you just dispel it get rid of it so we're just moving forward here tanks uh doing his thunder clapping malarkey keeping things up but if the odd mob uh, does run back, uh, which is very irritating, but yeah. also these um, these dog models. Oh, I didn't realise they changed every single dog model in the entire game to these, these mastiffs in Cataclysm. Even in old stuff like this, it's quite bizarre. It's like the only dog in Azeroth is a mastiff and a pug. <laughs> oh well, you can't really complain. Now the problem with this place is I am actually quite under leveled, so you know, I'm a bit stupid, I tend to pull mobs from that left, right and centre, because I, I don't stand back or anything like that, so, because this pull here we pull so much, and um, things are in everybody, and it gets a little crazy, you know, if it lasted a little bit longer, I wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me if we'd actually die, but we do get through it, but it is fair hectic, so, just, if you're looking to how to, um, a tricky pull. This is a fine example. What I'm tempted to do is uh, slow this down and put it in um, like a, um, a pit stop type video like Johnny did. So we've got mobs hitting everybody, we've got mobs hitting the hunter, we've got mobs hitting the mage, mobs hitting me, I'm mana portioning. It's going a bit hectic. I honestly thought things weren't uh, things were going to be a bit horrible. But luckily we get through it. All sunky Dora. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. So I'm like, mana, please let me have mana. And unfortunately, big, what's happened with Cataclysm is mana pools have increased dramatically because uh, you get all your spell power from intellect, so it's a lot of intellect on gear. However, they are not increased the amount of mana you get from water, so you end up, if you have to drink, drinking for freaking ages. But oh well. Release the hounds. The hound master Lockkey, I think. Side note, this guy's brother is up in Light's Hope Chapel. Well, he used to be in Light's Hope Chapel, but he's moved down. Anyway, you, you know, he's basically an NPC. That's why it's nice how the law twists around like that. But unfortunately, his brother's now uh, undead. GG. Anyway, this guy doesn't really do much, but he does have three dogs attacking you. Ah, uh, which is, yeah, it's a nice little AOE pull, you know, gives the tank something to do. Everything, uh, went fine on this boss. DPS was pretty good on this group, I have to admit. Things tend to fly down. Ish, once people actually, uh, were doing what they were doing. So, yeah, let's, uh, lootage. And that drops, uh, dog whistle trinket. Summons, uh, a dog to your aid. I was like, nice. Lucky person to get that. And I win it. How awesome's that? That is utterly amazing. My first trinket. I'm like, score. So yeah, I'm gonna equip that in a sec. That was ridiculously lucky. Because I don't think I've actually no, I've seen that drop like once before, but uh, I've never actually won it. So I was well happy with that. Because it's it's basically um got a ten minute duration and a ten minute cooldown. So you can constantly 
have a dog summoned. So I'll pick up the next quest, which is just to pick up a book in the uh, in the next room. However, I get a whisper from, uh, I think it's the hunter who whispers me. So I'm a hunter or a mage. As you can see, huh, I don't know why the, uh, the tank and rog um, rolled on that. But I'm like, dude, it's enough of the item. Anyone can roll on it. It's like, uh, if you have done to one man, there's a trinket in there that summoned three gnomes to assist you. Anybody can roll on that. It's novelty. It's like a mount or a mini pet. Nobody really cares. It's like it's what I had to do in the game, so anybody can have it. Now I'm a bit stupid here. I stand too close to that group. Thing, so don't do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Always look where you're going. See, there's the hammer justice again. I thought he was being lazy, but he's not. He's been stunned. Ah. Like a pretty good decent tank, but... Ah, uh, we end up pulling so much. I actually feel sorry for this tank, to be honest. He has a lot to deal with. He's been stunned, he's taking a load of damage, and we're pulling mobs left, right, and centre. But uh, we do get through it. So hunky dory. There's also a, um, a chest in, in that room, which I can see spamming on my screen now. The uh, green items that are pretty much no use to me. I think I should mention that um, I got the boots from Nomoran off screen. Off the uh, like poison type boss, Acid Walkers. I'm very impressed with that. My gear at the moment, especially after this run and then another one, is looking sweet. I am very much twinked out. Very happy with my character at the moment. But uh, I'm probably going to be doing a pit stop video because I've basically got footage of this and footage of uh, the first area marauding to, uh, to make, to edit and whatnot. So expect those up. Basically, I've got a couple of days. Got a couple of days off, so I'm gonna just spam videos out like crazy. So remember to subscribe, people. Also, shameless self promotion. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna put um, my Twitter name up on the screen now. It's uh, Will J underscore Moon. Follow me on Twitter. I'm usually talking about random rubbish. What's going on in my life? You know. Uh, wow. A lot. I talk quite a lot about wow. Uh, and a bit of Doc 2 because I'm a massive Doc 2 fan. So, yeah. So, if you're interested, follow me on Twitter. Go do it. Go do it now. Anyway, back to the instance. We're just uh, plowing on through. I'm spamming a few mind blasts and holy fires and whatnot and smites just because, uh, the usual thing. You know, uh, if, if the floor's going well, people don't take that much damage. I've also got my dog out if you've seen that running about from the trinket. Also, I'll take a look to my left there. Don't want to pull that group. But. The tiny size. He wants to pull that group. So I'm like, go doggy! I said go doggy! Doggy! Why you no go? Lame. Stupid dog. Now he goes. Does he? No he doesn't. That dog's useless. Okay, I take back that awesome trinket idea. Dog's basically useless. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's move on forward. Now I'm inspecting the mage because I'm like, hmm, I wonder what uh, chest he has. He has the same chest as me, which is a bit poo, because uh, a really, really nice chest piece, chest piece drops off the end boss. The chest, basically, the boss can drop two of four items, and I think maybe an epic, I can't remember, but that's like really rare. You drop a caster chest piece, a caster dagger, caster shoulders, and, yep, you guessed it, a caster staff. Now I'll, uh, I'll let you decide uh, which you think drops. So I'm just moving on here. There's a chest over there, uh, which is unfortunately I can't open while in combat. And the rogues uh, got the same idea. Either way, he opens it. And it's just a green belt that I think the rogue gets. So yeah. I like uh, the Scarlet Monastery instance, I don't know if I've mentioned this. I like how they're split off. You know, like Johnny said in his Black Panther Depths run. All those, all the, those early instances that are really big, they have their place, don't get me wrong. But I like how Scar Monastery is the, is the same, only it's different. Yeah, it's a bit weird that. Like, uh, you, you fight uh, in the Scar Monastery area, but you fight ghosts and stuff, and you come to this Scarlet area, but it's like all uh, monks and wizards and stuff. And then the one after this is, uh, is Armory. Armory's really good as well. It's a bit, it's actually a bit samey, but it still is really, really good. Anyway, we're moving on to the, the actual line part, where you pick up the quest item. Um, if, when I got the quest off that undead dude who was stealthed earlier, 
so I'm just letting the group notes pick it up. Well, I don't think anybody really does pick it up unless they've already done it. Anyway, I don't care. I got it. So, uh, I'm looking at that cast over there, and I'm like, Chastise interrupts. I love Chastise. I really need to get in, into the habit of using it more often. Because if anything, in, on normal mobs, it can just be used as an interrupt. It is an incapacity. It's, it's the equivalent of a ranged gouge. I don't know if you've ever played a role, a gouge move. It's really, really good. But it, it gets far superior later on when you get um, Chakra. Oh, I can't wait to get that, because that's the reason I'm making this character. Not for the face roll stuff, but to learn how to do the end stuff. I mean, I've actually played around with Chakra on my Shadow Priest, and it's, don't get me wrong, it's confusing, but it's definitely fun. And once I learn how to play it properly, I think I'll be uh, kicking ass and taking names there. But right at this moment in time, that's not what we've got to worry about. What we've got to worry about is Scarlet Monastery Library. Yeah! I like that proc as well. And the uh, the mage levels. So I'm like, GZ, you missed the dude. It's all is well. So we're coming up to the end boss now. He's literally just in this next room. But there's still a lot of these monks. And what I found out, even though, because I'm not melee, I didn't notice it until another run. Um, those monks have an interrupt. So if you're a caster, stay out of melee range because they will interrupt you. Now, like I said, I'm underleveled and I accidentally pulled the boss all the way from here. That is one huge aggro range. I was like, oh, feck. So now the um, we're fighting the boss, the end boss there. And uh, he, he polymorphs, but he spell magic. It's amazing. I love this boss. This is the best boss I've done so far. It's not an explosion and a silence in melee range. I'm like, ah, not good, not good. So I'm checking a few renews to keep people up. He puts a mana shield up and does like a massive blast wave. And it hits like a truck. I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of damage at this level. Most damage I've seen so far. And then he polymorphs someone else, so I dispel that. And I'm like, flash heal that dude. Come on, keep people up. I'm like, this boss was amazing. Definitely my favorite boss yet. I have not come up with a better boss than this. I think I spell off again. If you play rogue, get used to being polymorphed. Anyway, the rope drops, sweet, and the dagger drops, sweet. So I'm kneeling on them both. But the uh, the mage has equal right to roll on either one of those. And um, now what happens here is the mage rolls on the dagger, but not no. The mage rolls on rolls on the rope, but not the dagger. And I win the rope, but the rogue rolls on the dagger. But it's a cast the dagger, and the mage is actually having a go at the rogue for that. And I, and I join in, I'm like, dude, that's a bit odd, why are you doing that? Anyway, I'm like, I don't care, I've got the rope, I've already got an okay weapon. If he wants to walk away with that, you know, feel free, but if the chance of me getting it, I'm going to have a word of him saying, you, you, do, you are aware that it's actually got intellect and spirit on. So we're just having a chat now saying, the dagger, it's, it's not really for you, I mean, just take a look at it. And he's, so he's uh, having, a, having a think. So basically, like I said, I'm happy to get the robe, and I, I end up doing um, library again. So uh, having a look at him now. So it's not like I, I I'm not going to replace that item, but I'm not going to lie to you, I would like it. So he's like, oh, who wants it? So I'm going to trade him. Now uh, there's, there's always a silly thing where if you click an item in trade, it goes into the uh, the will not be traded thing if it's so bound, which sucks. I need to change that. So it's just wasted time. But either way, kudos to this rogue. You know, he was he was an okay dude. He, he may have needed on it in the first place, that's just wrong, but end of the day he realised his mistake and uh and gives it to me. So what a guy. GG on him. So I'm like, woot! I've got the uh the dagger and the robe. And I combine the dagger with the held in offhand from um what do you call it? Graveyard? Amazing. So I hand this quest in here. And then hand this quest in here. And I get the sexy ring. Amazing. Awesome, awesome run. So what did I get? I got a dagger. I got a robe. I got some shoulders. And I got uh, a ring. Four upgrades in one instance. My god, I love that place. Oh, it was amazing. Wait a minute, no. I didn't get the shoulders. The shoulders were from um, the next time I do library off screen. Anyway... Oh man, I completely lose track of everything. Let's take a look at the bag. The bag's a eh, rubbish necky. Who cares? Got some amazing upgrades. I'll see you all next time. Bye!